man. I'm sorry, you can't get in. You can't get in on this. I ain't fucking with you today, Mia. I ain't fucking with you today, Mia. I ain't ain't fucking with you today. Good evening, everybody. We're going to wait for a minute so we can get some people on here. Get some people on here, tag a friend, and join in. Feel free. We won't be mad. It's me and my brother Rick. We waiting to give y'all tea. It's not really the tea. Shane, what's up, man? What's up, Shane? Ain't no shame in my game. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. We're going to wait for a minute. Tag a friend, Shane. We talking about some uh, something. We talking about um. Yep. Yep. Hey, Glenda. Glenda Oliver. Hey, we talking about the black sheep of the family tonight, y'all. Y'all know y'all all. Every family got one, at least one. It's normally only one, but every family has a black sheep of the family. Sometimes got a black be, sheep in the family. Sometimes it be nine of them jokers. <laughs> that mean they not the black sheep. The, the person is not. You got a whole flock. The person is considered normal is the black sheep. Mm-hmm. But uh, we waiting for a minute, you know. Hey, niece. My niece, Paris. Jennifer Johnson. Jenny Penny. Jenny Penny. Jenny Penny, you know what we're talking about tonight? We're talking about that black sheep of the family. You know the one that'll stand up and cuss everybody out at a funeral? You know that one that will keep it real no matter what? Yeah, that's what we're talking about tonight. Black sheep of the family. Um, but we're not going to talk about only the bad stuff about a black sheep of the family because it's come good and good and, uh, good and bad. Everybody, that comes with everybody. <clears throat> it's just with the black sheep of the family, you know, all of that, everything is far more intense with them. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the one um, that'll stand up at the funeral and tell the truth about the person that died, no matter who it is. Mm. That's the one that will tell you the truth when you uh, don't really want to hear it. They'll tell it to you when you need to hear it, and it's always at the wrong time. <laughs> so that's who we're talking about. That that black sheep of the family that's not scared to say or do anything that's only mine. And actually, you know, the black sheep of the family, they are the ones that feel like they got the short end of the stick when it comes down to the other siblings that, well, mom didn't like me like she liked you. Well, dad didn't care for me like he cared for you. I never understood that when we was all in the same household, how can you feel like you the black sheep because you didn't get a special attention that somebody else got? I mean, you can't all be treated the same because you're different people. But my mom, you know, my mom and dad, they made sure we was all loved. Now, my baby sister, Nikki, Nicole, uh, she was the baby. I was the firstborn. So, unfortunately, Cynthia, I think, kind of felt like she was the black sheep of the family because she's the middle child. child. Right. But mom and dad didn't treat her no different. Show didn't whoop our butts to uh, no differently. We all got beat to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so it she, was like she nobody got felt, a black sheep butt nah, whooping. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> well, you the black <laughs> sheep, so your your whooping gonna be an hour, and we hitting you with the bat. I say, like, well, I want to get hit with. The, well, shoot, hit me with the rope. Right. You know, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> or the flip flop. <laughs> no, that flip flop hurt, man, because it got them little ridges on the bottom. Will slap the skin off your ass. <laughs> What's up, O? Orlando on here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you um, you uh, just don't get beat with them Crocs. Oh man, all that rubber hitting you, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, the black sheep of the family. Uh, what up, KD? Um, the black sheep of the family is normally the one who got treated a little different, right? Normally because they were a little different. That was the more outspoken one, the more outgoing one it was the more hyper one the one that had different taste in in clothes different taste in uh pretty much everything they had their own lane they were pretty much set apart from everybody a lot of times that be that middle child sometimes don't be the middle child just be that one that's that chose to be quite different from everybody else sometimes way different but and then they get labeled and pushed into a box 
called the black sheep. Not always something to be ashamed of, because a lot of them are ashamed of that. And even though they still live, they live, you know, like, you know, like they want um, and be who they are. But not necessarily should that be something to be ashamed of. Not saying glorify any wrongdoing, but at the same time, just like everybody else understand the people is not the black sheep, understand the black sheep too. Mm -hmm. This is who they are, just like everybody else is who they are. And um, <clears throat> in all in all actuality, they deserve equal treatment. Now, a lot of times, the black sheep of the family, that's who you want to be like. Mm -hmm. That's actually who you want to be like, because most of them, they have more flavor. they far more fun. You know, they a lot cooler. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else doing the normal things. You know, um, we're going to um, <clears throat> definitely do a part two <clears throat> to this black sheep thing because it goes deeper. And we're going to have a special guest also. I'm not going to even tell you who it is. But we're going to have a special guest that day when we do it. <clears throat> but, um, um, the black sheep of the family, um, is like I said, they normally have more. It's it's it most of the times, at least ninety percent of the times, I would say, in my opinion, at least ninety percent of the time, that's somebody who has far more flavor, far more, you know, excitement to them than anybody else. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's somebody who you definitely would want to be like. The out, the outspoken one of the family. <clears throat> the outs normally that's the outspoken one of the family. Yep. Um. What's up, O? <laughs> o said, "He said you play too much at y'all. <laughs> where y'all? What you say? Where y'all? Where y'all truly equal? <laughs> Man. Um. Um. At at my parents' house, Larry was the middle child. I wouldn't go as far as saying he was a black sheep. But if um if you're gonna label him uh, uh anybody in our family that grew up in our house a black sheep, I guess if Larry wanted to, he could label himself as the black sheep, you know. But um um I still wouldn't label him as a black sheep. But Larry was the more outgoing. He Larry was the one who liked to uh, perform more. Mm -hmm. He had more uh, balls to do so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he had he had more balls to do so. We was always, you know, you know. Yeah, Larry had huge freaking balls. <laughs> huge freaking balls. <laughs> hey, uh, um, what's up, Jay? Look at Jay. Oh, uh, Deshaun. What's up, Deshaun? Um. Black sheep, um, as far as the ones I, I know, I've seen ones that, uh, that I went to school with. People get um, really ridiculed. <laughs> yep. Hey, hey, oh, you're right. He did. He treated us all equal. You know how my dad was. Um, that's why I say Larry, if, he was, if Larry was ever named, call himself the black sheep of the family, he'd have to do it himself. Or whatever, because um, I can't say, I can't really say he was. I can't say he was. Oh, there go Tracy. Hey, Cuzzo! <laughs> but, um, uh, go get yourself a black sheep. What? what did you go, go, get a, go get a black sheep. Fellas, go get yourself a black sheep if you don't already have one. Trust me. Compare her to all the rest that you haven't been with. Look, 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 look. See your eye peeping in here. <laughs> See a miscellaneous eyeball come over. Go get yourself a black sheep of the family from from somebody's family. A black sheep, you're gonna have far more fun, you're gonna be far more excitement, it'll never be a dull moment. You know? You might catch hell from them, but you're gonna catch all kind of other good stuff from them too. Mm, God. <laughs> God, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> oh say, how you gonna talk about black sheep? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's to, hey, to me it need to be relabeled unless we can find a way to embrace 
the term, embrace the title, black sheep, and make it something, you know what I'm saying, great. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you right, oh. We all we all had fun. Uh, we all was fun back in the day. I don't know if we just as much fun now because we all older now, but, you know. Um, I know I try to be here at the house, especially with these kids running me crazy and running me all over the place. <clears throat> yeah, I sure did. But, um, what up, Emery? I know Danny said she wanted to be in this attack. Hmm? What she wanted to know you was going to have. Um. Um. Uh, that just threw me off. <laughs> Sorry. Um. I uh. I could never. If it, let's say if if I was the black sheep of the family, you know what I would I would have to um. I'd probably be the most boring black sheep of the family of any family if I was because I don't drink, I don't smoke. So you know, be I never I never drink or smoke. Um, I don't even know how to shoot dice. I know how to throw them, but I don't know how to, sh I don't know how to play. You know, uh, I never, never did anything. <laughs> just, just, just be Kurt. That's it. So if I could never be a black sheep, no matter how hard I try, it's just not even in my DNA. Mm -mm. I'll be the most boring black sheep. <laughs> Nah, Jay, <laughs> Jay said you got a black sheep. Next That's right, cuz, cuz you know how I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I was, cuz. That's why I said that. I'm like, I, you know, we did way too much, cuz. We hey, did. Too is it much. any? Is it any black sheep on here tonight? Can we get any on here? You know, can we get any on here? You want to hit your cousin up? <clears throat> cuz uh. Black sheep, if it's anybody on here that's a black sheep, this was, was the black sheep labeled as the, not necessarily the outcast, but black sheep of your family or whatever. Don't feel shame if you ever felt shame. If it ever caused you to have any insecurities, you need to stop because there's nothing wrong with being the black sheep of the family. Nothing wrong with it at all. Now, most of the time, now I am going to say this, most of the time, the average black sheep of somebody's family it's somebody who can raise a lot of hell through their life. <laughs> well, that sounds like Raise some serious hell. It was hell on two feet. But half the time, well, really more than half the time, the reason it was looked at is they were raising hell is because they were misunderstood. Yep. You know, they were very much misunderstood. Nobody knew how to take them. Nobody was prepared for them. You know, they normally too fast. Yeah, baby. Sometimes too good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times too smart, too real for normal people. Sometimes they're way ahead of their time. Sometimes they need to be the black sheep. You know? A lot of people that's considered the black sheep going to be very successful people in all kind of different ways, in d different avenues in life, entertainment, you know, um, just uh, business. You know, they're going to be some rich people a lot of times too. And when you, you see a, a person that's rich, or whatever, multi-millionaire, I bet you if you, it, oh, more than half of them, I bet you if you dig into their background, you find out they were the ones, they were the outcasts, they were the black sheep of that family. Yep. You know. Um, um, sometimes, unfortunately, personal issues make them the black sheep. Mm -hmm. But all the time, that makes them far more interesting than normal people, if we want to call the other people normal. A lot of times, one of the reasons why we are scared of the black sheep of, a, of, a, of, a, of a, somebody's family is because of what I just said a minute ago. We don't know how to take them. We don't know how to take them. Uh, it's a certain way you have to handle some of them because it can go really bad for you if you don't know how. Because <laughs> sometimes it can cause some major problems. Um... When you get a person that's considered the black sheep of somebody's family or, or considered a black sheep, period, or whatever, a lot of times, just listen to them. Just listen. Um, aside from all the cursing, you know, and the, whatever else they do, the average black sheep is always aimed in the right direction. Now, whatever mm -hmm. method they use to, to travel that that road or whatever is is sometimes a little different, but... They normally always aim in the right direction, almost all the time. 
you know, and it's just their natural nature. Their um, a lot of times their um, imagination is 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 a lot a lot better than you know, let's say ours. It was us normal people. Um, <clears throat> they they made like that on purpose, though. They are like that on purpose for a reason. Every family actually needs one. A lot of times, this it'd be the person that's the black sheep is the one who keeps the family together a lot of times. And a lot of times, they get that from either that grandfather or that grandmother. It's something that's passed down. Sometimes it's skip a generation, but it always seems to land on the right person. You know, and whoever that is, that's the right person. Because a lot of times, when nobody else will tell you what you need to hear, go to the black sheep. They will. They will. You know? So it's, that's one of the reasons why. Don't shun the black sheep. Embrace them and become their friends. Because a lot of times, in most cases, that's who you want to be close to. You want to be close to the person that's considered the black sheep. Now, Rick, was, was um, Cynthia considered the black sheep? Probably not. She, or was she, she just going through, if she, did she ever go through she middle can, child stuff? She considered her, herself the black sheep. And I found this out later on in life after mom was gone. I mean, I believe she thought that mom treated her different than mom treated uh, me and Nikki. But you got to understand, I was the firstborn. So, so I'm the only boy in the family. So, of course, you know, my mom was going to, um, you know, cling to me and I cling to my mom. And then Cynthia and Nikki pretty much clung to my dad. You know, they Daddy's were girl, daddy daddy's girls. girls and mama's so, girl. you know, me and my dad, we had an awesome relationship. Yeah, Still, you got an awesome relationship. But it was my mom that... No matter what was going on with me in my life, my mom had to, you know, she would jump in and be like this. No matter what it was, mom was always there. She'd be the one calling, hey, you coming home this weekend? You coming home this weekend? You coming home this weekend? Come home this weekend. Come home this weekend. You know, it was just that that's that mom and son bond, bond which is. That's so strong, a lot of people don't even understand. But see, I know you do because how you and your mom was. Right. And like, right. same thing with Roy, how Roy and his mom was. So, you know, it's just it's, it's just a little different. But I would never consider Cynthia a black sheep of the family. I, she I don't did. say I couldn't consider her that either no. myself, not me personally. Mm -mm. That she do, then that's different. But I, right. couldn't, say, I couldn't consider her that. And and the, another, I'm gonna keep saying this. We talk about the black sheep of the family, who was a black sheep, people who grew up as the black sheep, but we're not talking down on it. We trying to uplift the t mm -hmm. the the, uh, the term and 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 get rid of the um, the stigmatisms that exactly, they put on that title. That they put on that title and um, not necessarily glorify it, but uplift the people who are considered black sheep because there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with it it's, i mean everybody black sheep normal people all make good and bad choices mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i make my good and bad choices black sheep make their good good and bad choices you know what i'm saying it's whatever you choose you don't take them and say oh your yours is uh worse than mine mm -hmm. a bad choice is a bad choice yep. it's all judged the same Bad choice is a bad choice, and then you try to say, "Yeah, it's that old black sheep stuff." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why they're the black sheep. Mm -hmm. Get close to a black sheep. Person is considered a black sheep. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I married one. Mm -hmm. Wow! Look at this. She <laughs> she the black sheep. And that's all I'm just not saying. <laughs> He don't put me mm -hmm. on blast. I married a black sheep. She's sitting right next to me. Look, oh, look, look. Goodness. See her forehead coming in? Look. Do some more. <laughs> See her eyebrow? No, I'm just checking out Only here. black sheep do that. No, I'm just checking <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Sheepy, 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 sheepy. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Okay, so let me put my, <laughs> me put my truth out here. Okay. Because I'm going to 
<laughs> the only reason why I uh, let me let me pan over here, y'all. Hold on. Oh my god. There she go, all the... neatly tucked away yeah, over here. Yeah, I was. Uh -huh. The only reason why I consider and I felt like that I was a black sheep is because I've always been the one uh, that was just a little more rowdy than what uh, supposed to be. Because everybody know me know that um, my brother is a pastor. And he's always been like, you know, the one that's just going to be like, okay, you know, it's going to be okay. Let's do it like this. Okay, Tracy, calm down. Don't do that. Don't say this. And I was the one that's like, no, I F that. You know, so <laughs> I was considered the, you know, the rowdy one, the black sheep, the outspoken one, the one that you don't tell stuff to and all that. Well, I, you know. Yeah. She, uh, yeah, she, she, she gave me all the mild PG version yeah. of who she is. Because I really, I don't, I, I come, yeah, I, really I know, I know, right? I'm I really don't have it all. I come unhinged and, you know. <laughs> and I got to be there to put her back on the hinge. So. No, that's just what it is. That's why I'm the black sheep because I don't, um, you know, I don't see things kind of like. You know, in your traditional, yeah, in my traditional you know, way. I, I, oh, you just don't get you know, here, huh? I see things a little yeah, differently. I've always been the one who, who, uh, who, who spoke my mind no matter what. Okay, that's enough. Let go. And that's just always how I've been. And sometimes it just, sometimes it clashes with it the, clashes, the yeah. norm. Yeah, but <clears throat> um, as far as with me, we 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 work it out. We straighten it out. Sometimes it don't get worked out. We just say, oh, to hell with it. And leave it where it is, and that's that. And we just step over it and keep going. Yeah. But uh, Tracy, black sheep. She yeah. dances to her own beat. Yeah, buddy. She would have been that one little girl in church when they telling everybody to hold still, stop moving. She'd be the one to stop moving only for a couple seconds, and she got to be moving around Whatever. anyway. No, I was more. I was more along the lines of when I was. A and she'll do it. And she will only do it because you told her to hold still. No, I. I was the kind of kid that if everybody else was playing with dolls or something like that or doing something, I was all playing with the dogs or something like that and, or and bricks. No, throwing them at people. No, I wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. I was not like that. She was. She was doing stuff. She was. Yeah, she, no, she was bad. When I was a kid, I liked the stuff that other kids didn't like. I liked the stuff like hamsters and stuff like that. And being by myself. He's an animal lover. If y'all don't know that already, that's why she's the founder and owner of Boss Bitch Kennels. So, how many normal people that you know personally? It's, it's, it's others out there that actually do it, but... People... Let me let me let me say this: women that you know of personally right now who owns a dog kennel. Now the other women do own them, but how yeah. many do you know? I don't know any. You know how many do you know owns a dog kennel? Who this is their passion. This ain't a hobby. This is their life. It's a way of life around here. You know, messing around with this dog kennel stuff. I don't learn. See, we run it together, but she owns it. She is the founder, and she the one start buying these little dogs, and it's dogs everywhere in here. Sometimes I wake up with one on my head, um, one under my arm, you know. Um, black sheep. Yep, she is. She she acts just like her grandmother, from what she told me. And which is what she told me is just like my grandmother was, you know, they was real tough. And they'd just say what they want at any given time. You got to kind of watch them because they might just blurt somebody. <laughs> she, she, you, you tell Tracy, say, um, she can be at the checkout line. She be in the checkout line at Walmart. They say that'll be fifty five sixty two. She, ooh, that is, ooh, that's too much. <laughs> I do it every time too. <laughs> But I don't. I have to I'm catch like, myself because I do it every single time. Or either she sees somebody's baby. She sees somebody's baby, and if that little rascal don't look right to her, she gonna be like, mm. "Okay." 
That is not me. Oh, that's... yeah. Okay. Versus, if she see one that looks really, really pretty. Because, see, to me, all kids are beautiful. They are. To her, all kids are beautiful. But if they don't look as beautiful as, you know, the other one, <laughs> she'll be like, oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, y'all, bye-bye. <laughs> I said you better quit that though. But, nice. but another, and another thing is, do not keep asking her something. Oh, I because hate because she will tell you. Meaning, if you say because she Tracy's patience is very low. If you keep asking her something, if you're not looking for the truth, don't ask. Don't ask. Yeah, it's just I. Please just, don't ask because. It ain't that she want to hurt your feelings or be mean. It's just she gets driven by something else. I don't know what it is, but she's compelled to tell you the truth. Because it's all she's, in love. She's compelled to tell you the truth. Yes, even love drove me. Even when she probably shouldn't. Because love drove Not me. Not necessarily saying she should lie instead of telling you the truth. She probably should just don't say anything. Just turn around and walk away. I tell y'all a story. I'm glad you two brought that up. Me and my friend a long time ago, we Black was in the car, and uh, me and Curtis at first got together, and uh, it was that one tank song I deserve. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> you can't even say it without laughing. I was like, yeah, that, I like this song because if I ever cheat, yeah, it was the baby I deserve. So I was because I was like, if I ever cheat on my husband or my man, I would just tell him because you know this is how I feel. She was like. <laughs> Oh, that, she, what, what, she, what I tell you? She said, she said, okay, don't get your... Oh, she's like, don't let this song get you fucked up. I said... <laughs> she said, I would just... She was like, Tracy, I'm not lying to you. If you with Curtis, I would just keep that into my grave. I am not lying to you. I would not say nothing. Just be quiet. Don't let this song get you fucked up. And, you know, I really... <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but... Yeah. Black sheep. Because I feel like you shouldn't you shouldn't have to hold no lies. Like, well, you're not my dad. That person that you was ain't your daddy ain't finna whoop you or nothing. You finna get a whooping? I feel you like might. you should be honest. You, it was a you lot might. of But see, the thing about it. You just, it's better to be honest than to get caught on the street doing something crazy. Yeah, you yeah. might you get might punched in your that, throat. That, 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 that <laughs> something like that, you might want to say that over the phone. You might get punched <laughs> in your throat. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't dare do that, but... Um... In all actuality, in my no, opinion, you took me all on camera like you don't even want me on here no more. Well, we gotta get we got the brothers. We gotta get back oh, on okay. here. And then, we pay, yeah. then we pay. Then we back over to you when you you say something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know we working with 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 meager uh, accommodations here. Uh, we don't have that that elaborate uh, hookup where we can all just sit right here next to each other, get up and walk around the camera, get all of that. Now we on a cell phone. That don't make no sense. Until we get our money up. We what we trying to do, y'all, let me tell y'all what we trying to do. Um <clears throat> We um Go here. What we're working on is getting a podcast or whatever. We're gonna start us a podcast. When we get on there, we're gonna start talking about some stuff for real. And it's gonna be formatted in a more professional manner. We just talking right now. But um <clears throat> um we gonna make some of these lives go viral. We'll make some of these lives go straight viral. And um, we're going to talk about subjects that brings awareness. We're going to talk about stuff that's fun to just talk about. Sometimes we're just going to get on here and just go through random stuff just because we like to talk, you know, and have some fun with it or whatever. But this is part one to the black sheep. We're going to do a part two real yeah. soon. And we'll have a special guest. We're going to have them sitting right here. And um, they're going to kick it with us. They're going to kick it with us. Hey, and like I said before, we're going to get into them videos where you're eating and talking. You oh, know yeah. how they do it. You got to do a lot of smacking and making all that noise and stuff. We're going to do that too, y'all. So just get ready for that. We jumping in on that too. We're not going to just spring it out on you just so people can say, Oh, they just trying to do like they be doing with them talking, with those videos where they be eating stuff and smacking. I'm telling you ahead of time, we sure is. And we gonna have the Big Daddy cheeseburgers that I'm gonna make. Cheeseburgers? Because I know I gotta, I gotta Chicken see wings. Kurt eat this cheeseburger that I make. Y'all don't understand the seriousness of this cheeseburger, but it took we, three we, days. We got some, we got some, um, yeah. um, 
a lot of ideas. I'm talking about doing Battle of the Sexes on here, where you can actually win something. There won't be no bunch of money, so don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> But if you got, you can actually win something. I'm gonna put you a slice of pizza in the mail. There you Send go. It to it, you. That's an idea. By the time you get it, you won't be able to eat it, but but you won. But you won. That's all that matters. Okay. But um, playing games, doing the battle of the sexes. You know the men against the women. You already know we're gonna win that, right? Us. The women. Us. Us. We're going we're gonna, to uh, do the live roasts. We're getting back on that. We're going to do the live roasts. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to do it like, um, we're going we're gonna to actually talk. Cynthia, what's up, oh, Cynthia? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Cynthia, Cynthia Lord. what's up? Oh, God. Hey, speak of the devil. We were just talking about you. We were just talking about you. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of ideas that's coming up. And uh, um, our stuff is going to be... Formatted a little, a little, not necessarily professional because we don't want to take that um that little edge off of it where we sound where we don't we don't even sound real anymore. We want to continue to sound like we really we down to earth and we talk to the people for real and we don't want to start getting all Hollywood on nobody or whatever. But um we do want to. We said why? Why? <laughs> said, why? Why not? <laughs> we talking about we talking about good people. The black sheep of the family. And we were saying that, I said, Cynthia always thought she was the black sheep of the family, but you ain't no black sheep of no family. Mm-hmm. What was said? <laughs> <laughs> All good stuff. All good stuff. We were talking about good stuff We were talking about people. you're not the black sheep of the family. <laughs> what's up, Eon? Look, Eon, uh... Oh, man. <laughs> hey, Eon, what's going on? We, um, we working on trying to get a, uh... A bigger following, um, people that's gonna um, tune in. We're trying to get more consistent with the times that we're gonna be doing this, getting the, um, uh, a schedule. So it's something we're working on for real. Trying to uh, turn this here into actually turn it into something and get some people over here to kick it with us and talk about some real stuff, you know. But we're gonna keep it down to earth. We you know, like I said, we're not gonna get so professional to where we uh, you know, it don't even seem real anymore. Starting to sound scripted, you know. We 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 come around the top of our head with how we actually feel, and uh, nothing is wrote down as you see. We're not looking at no notes, I'm, hmm, which sometimes we probably will be, just because we got a lot of stuff to cover, and we want to actually get to it and not miss anything. But <clears throat> what you said, no, I was no, it's different. I was never a black sheep. I, that's what that's I said. That's what we said. That's you what wasn't. I said. That's what I said. I said, you can't call her no... She ain't no... She definitely ain't no black sheep in the family. But see, if you were, the main thing we on here talking about is embrace that. Hey, what's up, Ian? <laughs> if you were, it's something to embrace because... What's up, Ian? <laughs> we, was we was saying that the black sheep of the family... That's normally the person you want to be around. That's normally the person that you had the most fun with. Uh, the person that you, really the person that you want to be like. You know, the black sheep of the family, man, black sheep have more fun than than, than regular people most of the time. Than the regular sheep. <laughs> you know, they live, a lot of times, a lot of them live a more open and carefree lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we've been good. We've been good. Um. <clears throat> uh, once again, congratulations on your accomplishments that we've been seeing online. You know, with the, with your degree and all of that. You know, congratulations on getting the heck out of here and doing some bigger and better things. I'll tell you, because mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you see what happens when you hang around here. <laughs> Nothing. You know, you gotta you gotta be real creative when you stay here. So, you know. Uh, we threatening to leave here again, <laughs> also because, you know, you know. But um, yeah, I, um, uh, I live with a black sheep, you know. And if you all don't have one, you need to get you one. I'm telling you, if you don't like a boring lifestyle, hopefully, if you don't have a black sheep, the person you with, if you with anybody is, you know, what I'm saying it's just that exciting. 
They ain't just walking around looking good. You know what I'm saying? You know, because that can get boring. You just look good. That's it. You know, you're just sitting around looking good. You know, that mean that person probably, you know, ain't, you know, the most exciting person in the world. I can't say I am because, like I said, I'm not into, you know, some of the normal things that other people are into, you know. So, but uh, at the same time, I'm a canty. So, you know, there ain't going to be no dull moments. And even the dull moments ain't that dull, you know. But, um, yeah, <laughs> she'll leave. <laughs> simple as that. <laughs> simple as that, just leave. Yep, you right. Straight up, you right. Yep. But, um, I'm going uh, to go to, I'm going to go to Taco Bell, Eon, and, uh, see if I can get, uh, get your daughter to give me her employee discount and get some extra food. <laughs> 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 uh oh, what Cynthia say? Cynthia said I was just ahead of my time. I have never wanted to be like anyone else. Anyone? Uh, yep. I'm success making my own adventure. Yeah, yeah. Cynthia is another college graduate. You know, I mean, shoot, you ain't. Um, that's why I said I couldn't really myself consider consider you as no black sheep, Cynthia. You just, uh, was just the middle child. <laughs> you were just the middle, uh, the middle child. <clears throat> and Cynthia, did being the middle child make you want to go uh, in uh, talent shows more and show off and dance in front of people and stuff? Because <laughs> <laughs> the middle Ricky child normally, Nikki, the normal. Wait, hold on, Dicky and Ricky were what? <laughs> we're still. We're still alike. Uh, normally the middle child be looking for attention a lot, so they get they do all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, they be twerking in the hallway at school, and you know, getting in trouble, smoking cigarettes behind the school, and you know, jumping people and stuff. <laughs> Said so, yes and never we what? Yeah, what? Never what? Noticed? Yeah, and we never get noticed. I noticed you. We all noticed you. Oh, she moved back to California? Oh. Oh, I can't use an employee discount now. <laughs> well, it's a good thing she got out of here. She held it down at Taco Bell for a long time. You know. But um, I'm glad she got out of here. I, I can glad when anybody get out of here. You know. <clears throat> what? She only twerked for hubby. Well, yeah, now. No, nah, yeah. because George be twerking for you. <laughs> All that freakiness going on. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, shoot. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> That's going to be scorched in my, in my memory bank forever. You're going to have a thong made of Twinkies on with some jingle boots. That's <laughs> some. That's some Vic sounds all over your body. <laughs> she said he do. Ah, uh, don't say that. Say that. That's, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh heck, no! Look, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, you right. That, you, you, know right what? you right, Dion. You right, You know what? That's the topic we should have, Kurt. We should make a topic of. Uh, Things people try to keep hitting that they do in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> we got to do that on sex oh, talk. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be on sex talk, uh -huh. y'all. <laughs> sexual, hey, sexual triggers. Uh -huh. And. <laughs> hey, look, I said, no, nah, you jealous? <laughs> no, we're not jealous. I said. That's I all, y'all, y'all all handle that. <laughs> and see, you know that. And don't y'all think. That. Look, Roy be fronting. Yes, Roy Sims <laughs> be fronting. He'll be talking to you, and all of a sudden, Roy, something will come out of Roy's mouth. we be like, wait a minute, man. Did you really say that? Uh huh. Yeah, Roy, too. Got that sh slim chippily outfit look, on. He <laughs> said Lester Lickerman. <laughs> 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 Who the hell is that? <laughs> 
Oh, heck no. Send it this way, less to liquor. No, less to liquor. Oh, heck no. <laughs> what up, Aaron? Oh, my God. What oh, up, though? No. Aaron. Uh-huh. Man, Lester Liquor. Who is that? That's a... What? That's a, a, a character that I made up. <laughs> that they tried to use against me. They said, you the real Lester Lickerman. I'm like, why well, I got to be the real Lester Lickerman? That's George, too. See, everybody got a little Lester Lickerman in them. Y'all just front and act like y'all don't. But, you know, when we get off live and stuff, and later on at night... People be sitting up on the couch with their leg in the air, licking on their leg like the cat be doing. <laughs> See, y'all, you know, some of y'all be undercover. You know, we just tell it like it is. We grown. You supposed to. Yeah. There ain't no punks up in here. <laughs> yeah, that's what we gonna do. <laughs> Sexual triggers and bedroom confessions. Yeah, bedroom confessions. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, uh, uh. anybody wanna <clears throat> volunteer to come over here when we do that live? Feel free. Hit me up. Hey. And it's not scared to talk. If you ain't, if you not, or either join me on here, I'll tag you, I'll tune you in. You can join into this live and we will talk. We'll <laughs> talk about you me. are the original Lester Lickerman. Hey, don't get mad at me because I'm not afraid to let my freak flag fly. That's just, this is how I am. I'm going to tell it to you just like it is. But a lot of y'all stop being undercover because when people find out, you know, and if, if you ain't running for public office, you ain't got nothing to be what up, afraid Chuck? of. What's up, Chuck? You let your freak flag fly. That's what it's about. Yeah, freak flag. See? See? <laughs> See? With hogs and eucalyptus. <laughs> See? Cynthia, a freak too. See, you, got that, you got that true sledge blood in you. You know, that's what. that's all that is. Don't be afraid. She said halls. Halls. Okay. Halls on the balls. Uh, <laughs> balls my boy Chuck. Balls. Chuck, what Chuck <laughs> said? Yo. He said, yo. What it is, Chuck? Man, but uh, look. A lot of times, a lot of stuff we talk about, hey, that black sheep, man. That per whoever that black sheep is, that that be the one you want to be with. You told you hear some of the stories they tell you. They do bedroom confessions. Hey, mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> he leave you smoking. See, <laughs> so leave you smoking, boy. But yeah. um, we <laughs> you gotta be freaky with <laughs> that baby. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <had> baby hair. <laughs> Ooh, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, Chuck. <laughs> I ain't want to pull it up in the fade tonight, Chuck. It's too damn tall. <laughs> I'd have been looking like Guy all over here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't messing with Chuck, man. That's my dude. Chuck is my dude. Is that you with that <laughs> <laughs> See, man. <laughs> I see, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh uh. <laughs> yeah, he is. He, uh, 28, 27 years old now. Ain't that some? 27 years old. I said, boy, that mean I'm getting uh, better. <laughs> I don't want to say old. I want to say just say better. <laughs> what are you saying? You chicklet teeth. <laughs> <She said, laughs> you chicklet teeth. <laughs> chicklet teeth. <laughs> Cynthia is so stupid. <laughs> Cynthia is stupid. Yeah, I need to um straight up for real. I need to oh my cousin Crystal. Hey Chris. What's up, cuz? I need to get some people over here for when we do these uh when we do these roasts. But we're gonna take it back to the high school days, man. I'm trying I'm gonna get my boy Chuck over here. Oh yeah, we gotta have Chuck hey, over here. Man. She's just sitting there stupid. stupid. Chuck. <laughs> We go get uh, my boy Chuck over here. I'm gonna get my boy Brandon Hayes over here. Look at Cynthia saying, "Ricky, you will damage your woman." <laughs> <laughs> Y'all said, "Wow." 
We're gonna get over here and we gonna we gonna we gonna do a roast. We're gonna roast. We're gonna take it back to the high school days and get over here and show everybody how you supposed to do it. You get into them little them little uh joke sessions or whatever. Ooh, George. And you walk away still friends. George used pop rocks. Oh, uh. Oh. See, I told you. Didn't I tell y'all? It'd be some freaky mess going on. Now, who going to use some pop rocks? See? Uh. See? Uh. see? Clitters, you ain't going to like that. See? George. <laughs> Get see? George on see? here. This is what I be talking about, about the freakiness that people don't know and stuff that go on behind the cameras, behind the curtain. Right. Who going to use the damn pop rocks? See? Hey, hey, Deja. Uh -huh. the, the topic was... The black sheep of the family, but as you can see, it switched. We <laughs> we was talking about the people that are considered the black sheep of the family, but we just talking now. We done with that subject. We just talking. We never did. We never did sign off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, with my my kids try to say I'm getting, I'm getting old. I No, nah, I ain't I'm tell George better. nothing about no dang pop rocks. Hey, Eon, Eon, that's what I say. I said, no, there's a difference between getting old and getting better. I'm getting better. Mm -hmm. I'll probably you? still be saying that. I can barely say it. I'll be, oh, I'm getting better. <laughs> tell George, don't use them pop rocks. Don't use them pop rocks. Yeah, you sitting up in somebody's ER. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. <laughs> he said, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck said, Chuck said, Pop Rock, he, he got bras going to the uh, to the gynecologist. <laughs> Chuck said, he got bras going to the gynecologist. <laughs> so we, hey, we on here just talking. We just having fun. We kicking it. We ain't doing nothing. This is what, 944? We got to get ready to sign off in a second anyway. We got other things to do, y'all. But like I said, uh, stay tuned. <clears throat> We're going to get real consistent with these lives because they're starting to get some attention. They're starting to get attention. Uh, apparently, we're talking about something or whatever. And um, some of these subjects, especially when we talk about depression, when we get real serious on here, when it's not, you know, it's all jokes to the side or whatever. Uh, we get some pretty good responses. Tag a friend. Whenever y'all see me post something or whatever, right now it's a little a little out of order because it's a lot going on here. I might put a post and say we're talking about this tonight and then sometimes I got to cancel it because stuff keep coming up randomly. It's a lot going on here, you know. And I like to um, get everybody to say a prayer for my mother-in-law who is battling stage 4 cancer right now. And if you could... You know, you know, take a moment and, you know, say a prayer for, you know, prayer works. And um, just say a prayer for her and keep her in your prayers or whatever. You know, family's going through a lot right now. And uh, just ask everybody to keep her in your prayers. And, what what Chuck <laughs> Hey, love you too, my brother. We finna, uh, we finna get out. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in or whatever. Look, look at us. Do our little bootleg talk show. And uh, stay tuned. Stay loyal. Because we got a lot of stuff coming up for real. For real, for real. You know, this ain't for play play. We, we, when we first started doing it, we had an idea. So, we're going to make it happen. Yep. Thanks, man. All right, Thanks, Chuck. Chuck. Yep. Um, we had an idea. I got somewhat of a little vision, you know. And um, everybody that, that does send their prayers, God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be talking with y'all real soon. Hey, we're going we trying to get back on here tomorrow. So <clears throat> don't count on it, but at the same time, kinda expect it, because we just might. Jamal, nephew, what's up? We about to sign off though, man. You better get back on here tomorrow, because we might be back on here tomorrow. No, 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 no. Sunday. 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 Thanks, Eon. Thank you. Alright, y'all. Peace. Alright. Later. <laughs>